Hello grade 2 students, uh, this is our chapter about fractions and today we are going to learn how to add and subtract fractions. So here's today's title, add and subtract fractions. Now this lesson is really simple, as long as you concentrate very carefully on what I'm going to tell you. Let's say, for example, I have two squares. Here's one, and here's two, right? And in one of them, I have one part shaded, and in the other one, I have two parts shaded right so first of all let's write these two uh, shapes as fractions the first one is going to be one over four since i have one part shaded at a total of four parts and the second one is going to be two over four since i have two parts shade two parts shaded and a total of four parts uh, the key thing to know about adding and subtracting fractions is that I'm adding the total number of shaded parts. I'm not adding all of the tiny squares in the, on the inside. I'm only adding the total number of shaded parts. All right. So I am going to shade the total number of parts here and here in this third square because this is the answer. Here's the one in red, and here are the two ones in blue, right? So, now I want to write this as a fraction. The shaded parts are three, and the total number of parts in the shape are, are four. Now, notice something very important. The denominator in both the numbers are the same and I move the denominator exactly as it is to the edge. So basically all I did was add the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Okay, so let's write a few uh, important points down here. To remind you how to add and subtract fractions. So, when I'm adding and subtracting fractions, the first thing I need to check for, once I look at the question, is that the denominators or the number at the bottom must must be similar. Okay, if they are not similar, you will need some extra steps to solve. And this is not our scope right now. The denominators have to be the same because I am basically adding the shaded parts in similar shapes. So if I don't have similar shapes, if I have one here that's divided into four parts and one here that's divided into five parts, uh, it wouldn't be correct to... Um, Add and subtract the shaded parts in both. What is your answer part, uh, shape going to be? Is it going to be divided into four or into five? So they have to have similar denominators. This is the first point. And second point, when I'm adding and subtraction, uh, subtracting, I only add and subtract the numerator i don't touch the denominator the denominator was four in both of the questions in the in both of the numbers in the question so it will move exactly as it is in the answer all right okay let's give some more examples um let me just Okay, 
let's do this okay i have here three over five plus um one over five now first thing i check for is the denominator the denominators are the same i'm just going to move the denominator exactly as it is and then last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add the numerator simply so three plus one equals four is that simple i guess so okay let's try to do the same thing with uh, subtraction i have here um okay let's say four over six minus mm, one over six okay now it's exactly the same idea i am only dealing with the shaded part so i have four shaded parts and i'm just going to take away one shaded part i don't care at all about the total of the shape if the total of the shape of, of both shapes is just made of six parts i'll just put the six as it is and then i will do four minus one equals three this is the answer that i will need from you okay okay now important point i have here for example one over one, uh, two plus one over two now uh as you can see the denominators are the same so i'll just put it as it is here uh the numerators are one plus one equals two now notice something very important about this particular fraction right here the numerator and the denominator are the same so we said that if the numerator and the denominator are the same i call this one whole how is it one whole let me show you on a drawing uh, here's a square there are two squares each of them is divided into two equal parts and this one only one part is shaded and in this one also only one part is shaded now i want to represent the answer so here's my square in two parts and i'm just going to move the shaded parts into the answer square okay so what do you think how much of the shape do you think is shaded i can see that the whole shape is shaded that's why my answer when it's two over two or three over three or four over four or whatever over whatever any number that's similar up and down is one whole it just means that i shaded all of the parts all right thank you grade two for attending this session i hope it was easy and uh, see you next time